today I'm going to show you how to paint your own very simple Christmas gift for your family and friends. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. For today's project, I am working on a canvas board. This one is a Frederick's watercolor canvas board. Really, really smooth, so easy to get fine detail. I love these. The great thing about using the canvas boards, you can get a lot for not a whole lot of money. So it's an inexpensive way for you to come up with a whole lot of gifts for your family and friends. Now these boards are just thin little boards here. What I've done, I painted this one for myself. I needed something bright and green for my studio wall. I just used a hot glue gun and glued a pretty ribbon to it. So this makes it a little bit more of a craft than a fine art. I don't recommend using hot glue guns to glue ribbon to your fine art, but it was for me, so I got to do that. If you have a lot of these to get done, you may wanna work on an even smaller board. Mine is an eight by 10. So to create these, step one, get a stencil that you like. You can get this at any art supply store or Amazon. There are so many stencils. You can use the stencil the traditional way where you're dabbing paint on the stencil. If you're watching my videos, I'm gonna go ahead and assume you know how a stencil works. The way that I've done it is by using my airbrush because it is so much faster. The other option, if you don't have an airbrush but you still wanna speed things along, Liquitex makes their own spray paint and you can just spray paint your background by first painting your solid color like you'll see me do in the video and then placing your stencil on top of your canvas then taking the spray paint outdoors and spraying over that you'll get a really cool effect for your background very very quickly i have a line drawing of this bird over on my website so if you want to copy this exactly you are more than welcome to do so now the really great thing about painting gifts for your friends and family is not only is it something totally unique you can paint your background whatever color that that person happens to like or whatever color goes in their home you can make something so perfectly customized for them but you're also getting to practice your own skills while doing so I know during the holidays it gets really busy and it's hard to find time to to go to the easel well here instead of going to the mall you can go to the easel and get gifts done at the same time while practicing your skills if your supporters over on patreon the real-time version of this painting is available for you guys now so make sure to head over and check that out now let's get on to this tutorial I am starting by just choosing a base color that I want for this. I am going with a fairly lime green. I don't need to worry about my brush strokes because all of this is going to get covered with the stencil later on. So I just need to start with that solid color, dry it, and then I'm going to use the stencil. Here again, I'm using the airbrush. Once that is dry, I'm going to use tracing and transfer paper to transfer my image that I previously drew onto my canvas. I used a transfer paper by Low Cornell and I'm starting off by painting in the bird solid black. This is Mars black, so it's very opaque. I'm using a Taclon bristled filbert brush here. For my finer detail, I'll move over to a round brush. But just depending on how much pressure I apply to that brush, I can get really thin or thick lines, but don't feel like you have to use the same brush for everything. You are welcome to switch to smaller brushes if you're more comfortable. Notice on the branch that they all start out thicker and they get thinner as they they branch out. So I've used the tracing and transfer paper to transfer back in the details for my bird over the black. Now I'm only going to use a combination of a medium gray, white, and black for the rest of this. I just need those three values to get the look here. Now one tip I do have is use a good amount of paint on your brush. Don't feel like you're trying to make it last. Use a lot of paint. If you start to get those little dots of the canvas showing through, it means you need more paint and more water on your brush. And you're going to go through some really ugly stages on this, but luckily with acrylic paint, you'll move out of them pretty quickly. You can see I'm just using that mid-range gray. It's important that I do not cover up all of the black. I need some of that black to show through. If I go too crazy and cover too much up, I can come back later on, but it's easier if I just don't cover all of it up now. I really want my brush strokes to show here. I want there to be definite shapes. On these branches, it's the same thing. I need to make sure that some of that black of the branch is showing through. I don't want all of my lines to be perfectly straight or perfectly smooth. It's important that I've got this clumpy feel. Yes, those are technical art terms. So I'm coming back through with black, just defining some of that a little bit better where I went a little too crazy with the gray earlier. I've got to dry that. If it's too wet, you start blending wet into wet, which is not what I want here. So I'm making sure that it's dry in between switching from light gray to white to black. So now I'm putting some white highlights on here 
And my goal here, I really want this to feel almost like a stamp. It has a very pop art feel. So I'm not trying to blend anything. I'm not going really crazy with the detail. There are a couple areas around the eye, eyes and beak where I did put in a little bit more detail, but for the most part, I'm keeping it pretty loose. And don't be afraid of this. Again, if you have a bad layer, no big deal. Just layer on top of it. Acrylic is very forgiving that way. Getting some of those highlights on the branch and I'm only going over portions of the lighter gray. I still wanna make sure that the light gray and the black are showing through. I need all three of those values to show in order for this to look right. Coming back through with some medium gray on that bird. You can see this is really easy. You're just gonna work back and forth. Don't go too crazy with the details. You want it to look like a bird, but you don't want it to look like a photograph. This is very, very simple. And I spent about, it was less than a half an hour to finish this whole piece, start to finish. So if you work smaller, you can get a lot of these Christmas gifts done for your family and friends very quickly. One thing I am going to do on this that I normally tell you guys not to do is I'm going to go through and outline portions of the bird with black so that he really pops out from that background. Keeping the bird in black and white is what's helping him to stand out even though my background is so crazy. So I'm going to come back through here with a little bit of black and outline all parts of his chest and under his face. And that's about it for this guy. And you can do this with any subject you can think of, florals, animals, anything. If you would like to draw this exact bird, remember over at my website, I do have that line art drawing if you wanted to trace it out yourself. Thanks for watching. Again, if you are supporters over on Patreon, the real-time version of this tutorial is available for you guys now, so make sure to head over and check that out. If you're new to my channel, I have new video critiques every Tuesday where I'm critiquing your original paintings or drawings, my own speed paintings, drawings, and tutorials every Wednesday, art Q&A, and sometimes social media tips for artists each Thursday, and artist vlogs every weekend. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. So you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, all of those social media sites are linked below in the video description where you can keep up with news, my news work, and see real-time clips of whatever it is I'm currently working on. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now if you're painting something like this for your own family and friends, be considerate of what goes with their house. This bright green is not going to go with most people. So if I were doing this as a gift for somebody, I would probably use a much, much more muted color for my background. But you know, I really wanted bright green for myself. I'm telling you guys to paint Christmas gifts for people, yet I'm sitting here painting gifts for myself. Makes me feel a little greedy. But seriously, I needed this. If you guys end up painting your own version of this, please tag me in it. I would love to see your version of this painting.